this looks in uh, today's another gameplay and uh, uh, how won the Rocker versus us again and uh, this time it's actually against Morph that you saw uh, previously on the channel with his uh, Morph training deck um, but uh, yeah this time you'll see more of, uh, of the combos uh, this deck can uh, produce oh and I'm playing uh, Maurice but uh, with uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow so uh, yeah let's see um, yeah, I just said the same again. I think it's the old version of the deck because I, I made a few changes. I'm not running the Scrap Iron Scarecrow anymore, uh, nor do I play the track. But uh, yeah, it's more for the Morph Training that I'm uploading this uh, this gameplay. So you see, so I said the, the trap card and uh, it goes for Lyra. Uh, and it cleared the, the Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So now I can go for the Machina Fortress, which synergizes very well with the Morph Training because it just puts, puts them in the grave. And uh, it can trigger uh, the effect of the remote and, uh, that you'll see later, I guess. So he gets this uh, Machina Fortress, and uh, yeah, he just clears the, the set. So we sing, and I think, uh, yeah, just get the long fire. And just, uh, he gets the meals, and uh, yeah, he meals uh, the sling and the gear frame. So uh, now my turn. So yeah, the top deck is pretty good, so I can go for long fire once, uh, get the second long fire. Uh, then go for the trading, uh, get two more draws, then go for the land fire. But first, that's uh, just a, a nice, uh, nice thing I wanted to to show. Uh, is uh, when you have the trading and the land fire, you always go land fire once, and before going for it twice and going for titanium, you go for the trading and see what you draw. Because in in this case, if you draw the foolish burial, you can send Dungeon Lion get two tokens and uh, this land fire can survive and you can tribute the token instead of itself to, get, to special summon the titanos which is uh, much better because uh, if the, the land fire sticks uh, it's, uh, well it's another titanial next turn so yeah so I get the dandelion gets me two tokens uh, then I go for land fire get the yeah I took the wrong level 8 uh, get the titanial and uh, now uh, yeah I try to yeah I try to crash into the fortress he uses the effect so I can negate with Titanial. Uh, like I said, the only bad thing with this play is maybe I should have gone for a fire in attack position to clear the Lila um, because it will get some more meals. Uh, but yeah, I value a lot the fire in defense position. So in the end phase, I get back the Amarbalis. And uh, you see this hand. So the Junk Box is just a monster rebound for a level 4 or lower Morph Tronic, and uh, you see how it comes up. And that's why also I should have uh, cleared the Lila. So he can go for Junk Box and Special Summon the Morph Jinx Copen. So it's a tuner and it's a level 3 and he gets the Lila as a level 4. But actually, uh, Scopen is level 4 in defense position so he can make the Synchro 8. So he gets the Course of Fighter which is much better than uh, any uh, level 7 Synchro. So then he can crash into Titanial, get back the Colossal Fighter. Then you can kill the land fire. So, yeah, uh, I should I should have just uh, run over the the um, the Lila with the the land fire. He could still have gone for a synchro eight because he has double junk box and he could special summon the morphotronic slingon. But uh, it would have uh, forced him into a, a less of a good player. So um, let's see. So I just passed his turn and top deck another titan which is awful. Um, so now I go for uh, Hidden Armory, and uh, yeah, I just uh, still uh, I go for Mark of the Rose. I go for it, I try, yeah, still the, the Close of Fighter, and now I'm just uh, racing him. So yeah, I attack directly with uh, Amaris, it goes through, uh, effect goes through, and uh, now he's getting very low. So I just need the uh, three, three Amaris, and it's done. And I have two plants into the grave, so now it's uh, just a matter of uh, who's uh, rising who first. So I special summon back Amaris and uh, gave him back the Colossal Fighter. He top decks every storm, which is a pretty good answer to the Mark of the Rose. So first he starts for, uh, with uh, Pot of Avarice. Um, he gets him two draws. And here he, yeah, he goes for the, the Machina Gear Frame, gets the Fortress back, um, which is pretty good. He goes for it, so he puts the remotes in the grave again. Then I guess he goes for, yeah, he goes for junk box, uh, so he can special summon the the remote. So again, if I if only I clear the Lila, uh, he would have no junk box in the, in hand. So uh, he would have changed uh, a lot of things. So I can go for a secret seven. So he, yeah, he goes for herbal room, which is pretty good because my hand is uh, pretty weak, and I think he knows that. So I just want to uh, to lock me up. So Amaris uh, walks once, 
then you go for the error balloon, so I have to change the track. Uh, and uh, I think, yeah, actually I don't uh, go for the track because I want, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm baiting the house that uh, it doesn't hit track and then uh, once he attacks me with the Colossal Fighter, I can just go track, discard I'm already still Colossal Fighter and just win the game. Um, so that's uh, what happens, so I special summon track, he kills the Mark of the Rose, which doesn't matter. I top the Devil Dragon, which does not matter, and then I can just go track, discard Titan Roll, steal the Colossal Fighter, um, go for Devil Dragon, uh, Special Summon Dungeon and uh, go for a Secro 7, so I go for Black Rose, I don't use the effect, obviously. And now I'm just uh, trying to, to finish him, so I go for Black Rose into the Earl Balloon, so he lose 200 life points, so it's getting very low, so then I can attack with Colossal Fighter, and this track is exactly 600 uh, attack points, so that's just game if he doesn't clear the track. So he's forced to clear the track, which is uh, very weak. Then I can just special summon back Amaris, and you just uh, lock it up. Um, so yeah, we're going to game number two. I think it was a pretty good, uh, a pretty good game one, and uh, you saw the power of junk box uh, in this game. Um, so now he starts. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. And uh, he's uh, more heavy on the trap card, so we, we're gonna play it slow. So I just set the Raikou. He attacks over the um, the Raikou with uh, Machina Fortress, and I actually don't want uh, him, this Machina Fortress, to resolve. So I just uh, try to attack on the clear the sets. It works, and also I lose the Cyber Dragon, so I get my two tokens for next time, which is pretty good. And he's set Torrential and, uh, and Dust on NATO. So let's see. Uh, here, I think I go for. Uh, Debris, debris to get back the the dandelion, he let it happen. He goes for torrential, which is fine. He just doesn't lose the dust tornado, uh, and I get my two tokens. But I don't, I don't use the the black rose, so I can still have it for later. Um, and I'm thinking the set might be a dust tornado, so I set the fin comedian first, which is not very good here. But well, well I could banish both fortress, but uh, yeah. And uh, it just don't, doesn't uh, shotgun the dust tornado in end phase, which means that I think he's saving saving it, saving it sorry for the mark of the rose. So then in the normal summon the machina gear frame, get back the fortress, I guess. Yeah, no, I go for tail, and uh, let's see if it works. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it failed. So I just mill four cards, and uh, I mill the second cyber dragon, which is pretty bad. But I, I hit the plague, so that's pretty cool. So now he goes back for Fortress, he clears both tokens, and uh, now I have to make something happen, so some magic happen. Uh, so yeah, he just equipped uh, Machina Fortress with uh, Machina Gearframe for protection. And here I took the, the Titan. So I have a pretty good hand, but I have to bait out the trap cards. So I go for Landfire first, let it resolve. I get me, it gets me a Titan, and now the only thing I need is the this to put this Amaris in the in the grave, but I have to banish stuff. Uh, so I was uh, kind of hoping he would have a, a torrential tribute, but it doesn't. So yeah, I just cleared the uh, the machina gear frame. And I think I said torrential and pass my turn. Um, he still doesn't choose anything. So he can go for a crash with fortress and clear the titan roll, and I can't really do anything about it. And he chose not to summon the Fossil Diner um, and just waiting to make this uh, part of Favoris work. So I think I just set down the Lion. And uh, yeah, if I get my two tokens, I can just normal summon uh, Cluster Amaris. So he just uh, passed his turn again, uh, which uh, cons like plays around the Dandelion pretty well. So I think I go for Hidden Hammery. Oh no, first, yeah, I go for Plague and I stack up Amaris. So I can mill it with Hidden Hammery. Uh, and I uh, get the mark of the rose. So I think I go for a Catastor, which is pretty good, but uh, because I don't run a uh, magical android, otherwise I would have gone for it. Dungeon Lion gets me two tokens. Um, I attack directly with a Catastor. Uh, it works, uh, so that's always that. Uh, then I can go for Hidden Armory, mill the Amaris that just stack up with play, get the mark of the rose as a follow up. And now I'm feeling pretty confident. So during the end phase, I go for a cluster Amaris. It works, and now it's his turn. So it the charge of the live brigade, which makes pot of Avaris live and the junk box live. Um, then he goes for a pot of Avaris. So yeah, I'm just uh, fast forwarding because uh, we don't have uh, all time tonight. Yeah. Uh, so he gets two draws, and he set the fossil diner. And it's a pretty good fossil diner because it's just gonna clear the my whole board. So yeah, I think. 
the thing is, Morph Tronic, I don't think it's a very good deck, but Morph as a player is a very good player, so that's what scares the deck. Um, so yeah, he was very conservative with his resource, uh, resources and he's paying up. So yeah, the Fossil Dine, I just cleared the board. And also cleared the token, I just forgot about this. Um, so now I don't really have much to do, so yeah, just uh, go for Amaris again. And uh, yeah, pass my turn, so let's see. <clears throat> so yeah, go for gear frame again, get the Machina Force, Special Summon the Fortress. I go for Torrential, which works. Uh, I get some more damage in with uh, the Amaris, and I still have four, uh, four planes in the grave. So yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, and he's just forced to pass his turn. So here I go for trading. Uh, get me two draws. He knows of, uh, <coughs> he knows of Mark of the Rose. So now I go for a Charge of the Light Brigade. Um, at this point, I'm just ignoring this trap card because it's never, uh, it never resolved it. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, normal summon Lila and uh, go for it because I want to bait out uh, any real trap cards. Yeah, okay, sorry. So uh, this was a terrible play. It never activated the, the set card, so I think you never target it with uh, Lila. You always target the new, the new set. Um, but yeah, that's not what I did, so sorry. Um, so yeah, I set the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast because I want Lila to stick for a little bit longer. And uh, during the end phase, uh, Special Summon Amaris, I get my... Did I get my 3 mills? I think I just uh, forget to mill with uh, Lila, uh, actually. Uh, yeah, I might have. So then in Armor Summon, uh, Morphtronic Scopen, and use its effect to Special Summon the Stingen. Um, yeah, uh, so it doesn't use the Prio, so I go for uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. And uh, I think... Yeah, I should... I should bounce Scopen, I hope that's what I do. And uh, I don't, um, yeah, I don't. So I don't play around the junk box, which is a pretty bad misplay. So now I can go for junk box, special summon back the second slinging, and now I can still make the synchro set play he wanted. So he can just clear the board. Yeah, it was a. So I tried to protect the Amaris with the Necro Gamma. Uh, it works, and then he goes for a secret seven. So I guess I get. It goes for Black Rose and doesn't use the effect. And Black Rose is just uh, bigger than uh, the Amaris. And also, he has the Mirror Force. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, he said he forgot to put attention for a dragon. So, I go for Brain Control. Feeling pretty, pretty confident it's a game shot. Uh, but I get met up by Mirror Force, which sucks. <laughs> which sucks very bad. And then in my phase 2 I go for Amaris, but she has the GG core for it. And uh, no, I need to find uh, the two last Amaris in my uh, 13 card deck. So yeah, just pass my turn, it updates the thing gun. And I think he's just gonna, yeah, he said the Raikou. I found the card trooper, which is pretty good, so I go for the meal. I get, uh, I still get no Amaris, so that's two Amaris in the, the last 9 cards of my uh, deck. So that's pretty unlucky. So yeah, I run over the, the Raikou, clears it, I get the draw. And uh, it's still not Amaris, uh, so yeah, I just passed my turn with uh, 8 cards uh, left in the deck and 2 Amarises. So it's uh, 1 chance out of 4 to top deck the, the Amaris. So yeah, uh, it's 25% chance uh, top decking uh, what I want. So he said the Heavy Storm, and I finally found the Amaris. So I think I go for trading, uh, get 2 draws, I found the second Amaris. Uh, I can go for different dimension ground, get back uh, Titanial, I guess. And uh, yeah, try to attack over, and uh, yeah, that's just game. So yeah, I think it was a it was a pretty good match, pretty tough one uh, against Morphtronic. So I hope you guys like the the show the showcase of this deck. And uh, if I ever face uh, Morph again, I try to upload some more of his deck. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for the Morphtronic, and I uh, see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.